Gamers, as you know, I have always chosen LPs based on which ones I can fail at the most. So I thought, what game? What game can I play that is full of fail and no matter what, as hard as I try, success will probably not be there. I grant to you gamers an SKS special, a game that nobody wins at. Deadliest Catch, Alaskan Storm. Let's start a career. We're going to go realistic because there's no other way. Because you know what? Unless you go real, you need to go home. I've played probably the tutorial of this game, not even all the way through. I've played a few things. But, honestly, we're just along for the ride. Let's see what can happen. If you've not watched the show, it's where boats made of, the fleets of boats are made and they go out and they fish for either king crab opelia crab uh, sometimes they go for the different fishes and what you're supposed to do is drop pots and you bring in as much catch as you can in an allotted time and you make money the thing is about doing this is to take the best boat you get to make that boat better as you make money you can upgrade it between seasons your crew will change depending on who you hire and their advancement there's a lot going on so there's a lot to this game now this is just a teaser episode to show you what we're gonna do and how we're gonna start so let's look at some of the boats that we can take there's the Northwestern Captain Sig Hansen it's 125 foot 200 pot capacity and 220,000 pound uh, tank capacity with whatever you catch. We have the Sea Star with Captain Larry Hendricks, 108 foot, 150 pots, 175,000 tank capacity. So you got to weigh these in because remember, there's a certain weight your boat can handle, and it might, you know, the Coast Guard won't even let you go out if you surpass certain limits. So that's important to pay attention to. We have the Cornelia Marie with God Bless His Soul. He's passed on from the show if you've watched that. Captain Phil Harris. 153 feet, 200 pots, 220,000 pounds, so it's kind of equivalent to the Northwestern. We have the Bering Star with Captain Carl Johan Hansen. 108 foot, 150 pots. I like how they left the rust on the side of that. That's interesting. Uh, 175,000 pound max. We have the Shellfish with Captain Guniev Locklingholm. I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, but I did my best. Uh, 99 foot boat, so it's one of the smaller ones, 150 foot, or 150 pot capacity, and 170,000 pounds. <sighs> so one of the s decisions you got to make is which boat are you taking out? Hmm. Do we want to take the Cornelia Marine? The Bering Star, I've thought about it. It's interesting. The shellfish is just, I want a bigger boat so I can bring in more. The Northwestern, I, I kind of like leaving them out there so I could talk to Captain Sig. Let's take the Cornelia Marie. We'll customize it. And we'll make it our own. So let's click the customize button. The colors, this, this won't do. Um, the cabin... We need kind of a darker blue. Oh, that's not dark. There we go. Upper hole. Yeah, we want that same color blue. I don't know if we can get it. That's about right. The railing. Can we get some white going on here? No, I definitely don't want white because if ice builds up, I won't be able to tell. I don't really like that bright red, but if we can darken that down a little bit. There we go. That was looking good. Forward mast. Ah, I could care less. That's this right here. 
Hole interior, that that's fine. Lower lower hole. Um, Just leave it a gray color trim oh it's up here at the top you can see it uh, we'll just leave that gray I don't think that really matters trim two now nah, we'll leave that in the middle uh, water line uh, this will go with the white line just so I can see it and the boat name Ooh, the big CM on the front we kind of want to make that a white color and the shadow yeah we'll give it that reddish background that looks good what do we want our cabin to look like this is hideous so we got two options I'll go with this one and the name what do we name our ship what would be a good name for it uh, the salty swallow no Balls deep. <laughs> that would be a funny one. Um, deep throat cat crab. No. I got crabs. Eh. One nut. No. <laughs> I barely have two gamers. Um, see my bitch fell off. Does that fit? <laughs> Um, no, what do we want to go with? You gotta have a really good name that represents you. I mean, I mean, with the CM on the front, we might have to go with that. You know, I mean, no, no we better no, 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 no. Um, let's just name it the Lucky and Tucky. I think that goes on real good. It's kind of different from another one. So, Comic and Strands, Lucky Courier New, Georgia, Impact. No, you don't need a trebuchet. I kind of like the Courier New. I know that sounds generic, but no, that looks terrible back there. There we go. But we got to make this kind of different. Lucky in Tucky. There we go. I mean, does that work? We want to call it that? Maybe we can call it the Drake. <laughs> we can name it after him. We can name it the Francis Drake. I like that. I like that a lot. The Francis Drake. What are you gamers thinking? I think that's a good name for a boat. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's any anything wrong with it. Um, yeah, I think we should go with that. Yep, let's call it the Francis Drake. Let's go with that. Drake. Okay, let's accept. Uh, we will make a new save. We'll save the boat. And then after this saves, we should be able to select crew. And some other things. So there's our boat. So let's accept it. The Francis Drake. Ready to take out and win. So yeah, the hardest part about this is loading up your pods. And then getting the right crew. If you don't get the right crew... See King Sam or King Season November sixth. It doesn't tell you when the season's over. That's the only thing that bothers me. It's November sixth, but to win. I mean, I know we have the fleet quota of one point one million. The weather's calm. That's good. And there's ten million out there, but you know it doesn't really. I don't know. All right, let's get a little bit of fuel. We got to watch our cost here because we've only got twenty thousand dollars. Let's take 150. Can we take all of our pods? I 
900 bait. Yeah, let's do that. All right, let's hire a crew. Who do we want to get? Who's available? We have Terry Fletcher. You can see their stats here. Stamina, speed, experience, leadership, crane manning, hook throwing, swimming, engineering, emergency cooking. And then it says this. This is the percentage of your profits you have to pay them. So you have to divide this out between yourself, your cost, and the five crew member. Usually you want to take two to three experienced people. The higher this experience bar, usually the higher the salary. And then you want to take some greenhorns along. Um... So we got her. We have Spike, 3%. Experienced crew member. Stamina and speed. His hook throwing is pretty good. Swimming's good. Emergency. We have Buster, 9%. Jesus Christ. Buster Sheshnikov. He's pretty good at everything. He might be somebody to get for the deck lead. Dan, 7%. Man, these people are old. We have Matt Bradley. He's young. Great hook throwing. Cooking. Speed. We got Jake Harris. His dad is the one who passed away. One of them. Uh, 6%. We have Stan Hansen. Monster. He's another good crew member. 7%. Albert. 6%. We got Tom. 8%. Jeez. Kenny. He looks like he's about to fall apart. Edgar. That's six brother, right? Yeah. Uh, jeez, 10% though, man, and then we have Jake, now I have it on realistic, so I really need to get a good crew to go with me, um, either Buster or Stan, now who is the other guy, Edgar, would be the person I'd want to take, man, I don't know, I think I want Buster as my deck boss, let's go with that. Deck boss and engineer. I'm in. Nice. So that's 9%. So now we need to start slowing it down a little bit. Let's see. Matt. He's really good at cooking. And hook throwing. So he looks like a good hire. This is going to work out good. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Let's see. Tom. He's way up there. Dan. 7%. Albert. I really need somebody that's good at first aid if I can find it. Eh, she's okay, but... Not to sound sexist, but I really don't want to take a woman. Let's see, Dan. Ooh, Dan. So, seven. So, we got Buster that's nine. Matt that's six. Dan. Eh, might as well. He can be the medic and the sure. deck. I'll see you on deck. Thank you, Dan. Now we need to get some cheap people. Jake here looks pretty cheap. Do we have anybody cheaper than him? Spike. Who's Spike? He's experienced, good at emergency, hook throwing, not really engineering. Anybody else good at engineering? Dan's actually good at engineering too. I wish I could change that over, you know, take that away from him, but oh well. Let's uh I guess Jake's too expensive. I don't want to get rid of all my profit. So let's do Spike and Jake. Which one's the worst? Experience. So Jake has a little bit more experience, so we'll hire him first. He's better at hook throwing. No, no, Spike's better at hook throwing. And he's better in emergency, so we'll hire him. Can't wait. And then we'll hire Jake, and he's going to be our bait boy. Yes, sir. Where do I go? You go to the ship. So we got Buster, Matt, Dan, Spike, and Jake. Looks like a good crew to me. All right, so everything's good. We don't have any catch to sell. Pretty much what you do now is you close this. This is the cabin. You can zoom out and see your boat. Here's our pods. They'll release them down here. This is where they count the crab. You will plot your course of where you want to go. See here you see uh, other ships heading out and they're going over here. Now if we look at the survey it shows you 
I did not want to do that. Every summer, the Alaska Department of Fish and Game conducts a survey on how many crab are actually out there for us to fish. Because they know that. It's a good idea to look at the survey to get an idea where to start. Just remember, the crab do tend to move around. Well, no shit. Thank you. So, theoretically, what he's saying... But if I zoom in here, I could... Yeah, there we go. So, if you zoom in here, you can see that the crab... They're all going up here. So, there's a lot. This might actually be a good area to fish, but... With four boats heading that way, I tend to go the opposite way. Now, you could put plots on here and figure out what you want to do. I tend to, you know, try to hit the areas that I can and kind of do a circle. What is that? 40, 4, 4, 16, so 160, that's 200, so... We're good there. I don't think we have 200. Yeah, we only got 190. So that's about right. So we'll drop these and circle around, and then we'll come back, and hopefully we've hit the areas. That's my plan. Now, whether that happens or not, you know, you can look here on the weather. We can zoom out and see the weather's kind of light, so not a big deal. We don't have to really worry about that. Crabs, we've already gone there to the survey. Um... So hopefully we got a good thing. Now what you'll want to do here is you set these points. So you have to come out from the harbor, and then you'll want to come... We need to zoom in here. Most of this is done by fast travel, because you just don't want to waste time. So we'll hit fast travel. You can see everybody moving. We have to wait till this counter comes down so the season starts. You cannot start the season until you get there. Now I want to zoom this in a little bit. Because I want to line my boat up right behind this where we start. Let's see, we can actually, you know, get on this and we're still going. You can look around. We got a breakdown. Are you shitting me? We've already had something break and we just start. The season hasn't even started. Fucking Buster, fix it. I'm on it. Hope we can get fixed up fast. Well, no shit, because we've not even started. The, the luck of SKS has already hit. Oh my god. But yeah, just to show you up here, it just tells you who, what everybody's job is. Here's when you drop the pods. This one brings them back. You can rest. When ice gets on there, you use this one and you have them go out here and break ice. So the game's fairly realistic if you've ever watched the show. I'm actually excited to start this, this LP. Let's go back to the plotting map. And we'll fast time out there. And hopefully they got the ship fixed before we get there. Good. So let's keep going. You got four or five guys that are already deprived of sleep. Um, ultimately, they're going to need some sleep, so four hours might be beneficial to you and your crew. But you can get by for now on 30 minutes. Um, choice is yours. 30 minutes? How is our guys already sleep deprived? They're resting. Their health is all the way up. Now, their morale is kind of down. We've not even started the season, so hopefully that's just because of that. I don't know. We'll have to see when the season gets ready to start. Let's go back to the plotter map. Let's fast time up here. Now we still got 12 hours till the season starts, so you want to let your guy, your crew, you can see where everybody else is going to fish. We got the Northwestern here, the Sea Star, the Bering Sea. I guess this would be a good area to hit out here because there's a large number of them. Here I'm taking a chance because it's a narrow strip of where they're at, and hopefully I hit where they're supposed to be. Now. Let's see if we can... Alright. We should be in a good spot, relatively close, you can see here on the map, where I could swing this boat around. And we should be heading right toward where those points are. I'm hoping. But anyway... That's kind of what the name of the game is going to be. We're going to get ready, we're going to drop our pods, and things will be alright. But gamers, you'll have to wait till next time to see me start dropping pods. So this is SKS. I hope you all are excited about what we're going to do. We've got to waste 12 hours before the season starts, and hopefully we can bring home some king crab. So gamers... Let me know what you want me to do. Let me know if I'm doing a bad thing here. Tell me what you want to see on this.
this is for you all. So gamers, I'll see you next time. Good night.